Just getting some oxygen to my brain, you know? <laughs> Hi, I'm Tavi Gevinson here with LUK to play It's a Mood. This is a selfie of me uh, in my Gossip Girl camper trailer. And my sweater is uh, by Iggy, Iggy NYC. And my little collar is from a Tom Brown top. The earrings, I think, are like fake Chanel from a vintage store. And the pants are also from a vintage store in Parma, Italy, which is a very good vintage spot. I started clashing prints <laughs> when I was a little girl. <laughs> I don't know, it's like fun to find two things in your closet that you wouldn't think to put together and then there's like kind of a new story being told. One word to describe my character is ambitious, as approved by um, the HBO Max social media manager. This is from when I was promoting the film Enough Said at the Toronto Film Festival. And I think I'm wearing an Alpha 60 top. I can't remember the skirt and the shoes are velvet and they are slow and steady wins the race. I was very pleased to have like sophisticated black and white clothing items. I think this outfit made me feel confident because it was for me at least sort of minimalist. Um, a crisp white button down, if you will. It's like, I would definitely, I would wear that now. I, I really like all of those clothes. This was when I started wanting to wear more like maybe one layer instead of five. And the hair, yes, I, I have been going for a pretty basic, in every sense of the word, uh, blonde bob since then. This is from uh, when I went to the Met, dressed by Stuart Vevers from Coach. And I think the theme was man x machine. My standout memory from attending the Met Gala is that I had lost my voice. So I carried around a notepad that said I'd lost my voice, but I just got to go through the exhibit in silence with Brian Eno playing and it was really beautiful. And also just look at people and listen to them. I think the dress was from a vintage fair or Etsy or I, I really, I wish I could remember. I wore it to homecoming my freshman year of high school. I was in a big virgin suicides phase. Um, and the bag is definitely from the Salvation Army where I grew up. Yeah, I, just, I, I loved wearing a long flowing 70s dresses. I guess it is a vintage wedding dress. It didn't occur to me that I was buying or wearing a wedding dress, to be clear. I was like, this is a homecoming dress. Three items from my wardrobe I would take on a desert island would have to be like a, a swimsuit. Um, I have a really good vintage Moschino. Uh, yes, I know how to pronounce that label. Swimsuit that I would take that's like gingham. Probably a hat, like a Georgia O'Keeffe Museum baseball cap, fine. And um, a pair of sunglasses. I have a pair of Celine sunglasses from The Real Real that I like. This is from a Prada resort presentation in New York a few years ago. The first Prada item I bought was uh, the lipstick skirt from the spring summer 2000 collection that Charlotte wears on Sex and the City. Um, and I bought it from eBay. I'm a big fan of matching sets, um, especially when there's a feathered robe involved as with this look. I don't think I have any style rules. I mean, definitely my preferences have changed. With shopping, at least, I'm like, unless I'm absolutely sure that I want something, I don't want it. And if you're doubting it, then like you're not excited and you'll find something better. This was me free associating, where like the Rodarte tights matched with what I saw as like a grungy Comme de Garçon uh, plaid and uh, olive green coat. Uh, Doc Martens, etc. I was absolutely always nervous interviewing people at these shows. It was really exciting to sit front row or anywhere at a show at that age. I mean, still, but it's like, you know, you're just watching like a little 15 minute movie play out in person. It's, it's a lot of fun. 
This is from uh, when I went to the Tonys with Zach Posen in 2018 and he dressed me. Pink is my favorite color and um, I, I'm happy to embrace girlishness in everything I wear. Having my Broadway debut as a teenager was very wild and scary. Michael Sarah said something to me that was really helpful when he saw me in another show where I was really overthinking like, what about this moment and that moment? And he was like, as an audience member, you're just kind of experiencing it as a wash and you you bring so much to it just by being who you are. And that was a huge um, <laughs> relief. <laughs> Here I am wearing a Rachel Antonoff dress and shoes. Meeting Gloria Steinem was really amazing. I was also wearing, I don't think you can see in the photo, but I was wearing a necklace that said Gloria, like a vintage nameplate necklace. I didn't like point it out to her, but she saw it in a photo weeks after the event and called me to say thank you. She's amazing. It, um, yeah, it made me really happy. Thank you for watching me play It's a Mood with L.U.K.